Hey friend, Ryan May here, an audio engineer, and more specifically, an audiobook engineer in the Apple or Mac world. So when recording audiobooks, narrators need to learn not just the acting and the performance side of audiobooks, but they also need to learn all of the technical side of things as well. In audio recording, there are tons of different audio software platforms to choose from. But did you ever think of using Apple's free audio software rather than spending hundreds of dollars or needing a third-party program to perform all of your audio tasks like recording, editing, and mastering? Well, in this video series, I'm going to walk you through five days of audiobook narration in GarageBand from how to set up your tracks. Yes, I said tracks. But Ryan, narration is a single voice process. Yes, but there's a little spin to punching in and punching out within GarageBand. But I'm also going to show you how to do the basics of editing while you're performing a punch and roll style of narration. And all the way to exporting and sending off your finished raw files to a publisher. Now, of course, there is more to audiobooks than just recording and sending them off to an author or a publisher. You need to process them into a finalized version for the world to listen to. Now, if you're new to mastering audiobooks as well, I want to help you out with that and get you started with EQing your voice to maximize the clarity and presence in your narration. I want to give you my free narration EQ guide. Just head to thehomeaudioproject.com slash EQ. It's all for free. Just head to the link here on the screen and I'll also have it linked down below as well. Once recording is done, you need to edit and export your files in a certain specifications that the publisher gives you. If you're recording in a punch and roll fashion that I showed you in the last video, then more than half of your editing is done. A best practice I like to coach narrators into is to consolidate each chapter after you've finished recording it. Every publisher or publishing entity like ACX has their own naming convention they usually want you to follow. In this video, I'll show you how it can be done in GarageBand. I'm Ryan May, and this is 5 Days in GarageBand Narration. Okay, let's move on to editing. Now that we have finished our first chapter, we want to export this so that we know we're done with this chapter and we can just keep moving on to all the chapters throughout this book. Let's zoom out so we can see the whole chapter. Great. So here's our whole first chapter with all of our different punch-ins in it. What we can do is simply on your mouse, hold down your left click and drag. So now they're all highlighted. Then we'll move over to the edit menu at the top and simply click join regions. It'll ask you, do you want to create a new region? And just say yes, create. And now we have one complete chapter that's all consolidated, completely punched in correctly. And now we can right click, rename regions, and we'll call this 001 underscore chapter one space dash space run away from reality. And then hit enter on your keyboard. And there we go. We have our first chapter, our first whole file. And all of the editing is done for us because we did it as we went. And now we just have to export our first chapter for this audiobook. Now with the region selected, and you'll know that it's selected with it being all lit up on the sides and the top bar here. When it's deselected, it'll be completely blue. When it's selected, it'll be lit up around the edges on this top bar. So now we can go up to share. Export song to disc. Now we know that this is not a song, 
but that's what GarageBand calls it because this is usually a music program and not a voiceover program. And then a menu will pop up. Where would you like to save this chapter? When you're exporting for a publisher, it's going to be pretty typical that they want you to send a WAV file and 16-bit. WAV is going to have your best quality. So we'll do 16-bit uncompressed, which means that there's going to be no processing on the back end of what the program is doing. But we want to still keep our files organized with our file management system. So what we can do is we will navigate to our desktop if GarageBand hasn't already done that. Let's find our Runaway From Reality folder, click it to get into the folder, and as you can see, let's enlarge this a little bit. As you can see, we're in the folder up here. We can see our manuscript, and we see our GarageBand session, but we do not have our Chapters folder created yet. This folder will hold all of the chapters, again, to keep everything organized. So that way we have our script separately, we have our session separately, and then we'll have a folder that's going to house all of our chapters. So what we'll do now is we'll go create new folder. It'll say, what do you want to call this? I'm going to call this run away from reality chapters. That creates it inside of our runaway from reality main folder here. And again, because we're already on 16-bit wave, uncompressed, we're good to go. We have one last step to do. We have our file renamed within our session, but now we have to have our file named for our export. So up here in the Save As dialog box, we are going to simply kind of make it easy on ourselves so we don't have to write that out again. We'll delete all this back end so it just says run away from reality. And we'll give it the same naming convention. We can go 001 underscore chapter 1 space dash space. Now, again, it is going to depend up to the publisher or the author or the rights holder, depending on who you're working with what the naming convention will be, but you'll keep it consistent so you can see everything that you have. So now we have our chapter renamed for our export. We're inside of the Runaway From Reality's chapters folder. So now we can just hit export, and there we have it. Our chapter is officially exported into our chapters folder. So when we get into our main folder here, we can see we have our script, our session, and our chapters folder that we just created. Everything is timestamped. So when we double click into our chapters folder, there's our first chapter right there. Click out of it. So this is just very, very simple file management. To get a better picture on everything, you can always use max different views that they have. So you can do a icon view list view, a column view, and this is kind of like a gallery view. So if we click on the column view, you can actually see the file path of everything. Over here on our left-hand sidebar, we're on the desktop. That's why it's kind of lit up in a darker gray. Then into the Runaway From Reality folder. Now this column is inside of the Runaway From Reality folder. Then we have our chapters. And you can see everything is kind of in a linear fashion going right here. So once we complete our chapters, then this will say 002, chapter 2, run away from reality. You can also go down here on this little icon, slide bar, and pull it so you can see everything. And now everything is exported into our chapters folder. I'd get my next location by late afternoon at this pace. Okay, and now with the second chapter complete, we want to drag it up to the top track, the chapters and playback track. But we've finished, so let's zoom out so we can see everything, right? Here we can see that we have our first chapter completely named, and we know it's already exported. 
And now we've just finished our second chapter. So what we're going to do is highlight both of these. You can tell because this is already named. And these still say the record punch-in numbers. If you're completely zoomed out like this, you'll just see rack for rec record. So we can do the same thing. We can go to edit, join regions. And because these are highlighted, these will be the only two that get created a new file. Hit create. And that one's done. So again, we'll simply right click, rename regions and follow the same naming convention. Chapter two. And now that it's still highlighted, we can head over to share, export song to disc. And this is the great thing. Because we already exported one of our chapters, our folder is gonna be automatically selected. Settings will already be set up for us, wave 16 bit. And the only thing that we have to worry about is renaming the export. Then simply click export or a quick key command. You can also just hit return or enter on your keyboard. Now it looks like it processes both chapters, but because we only have our chapter two selected, that's all that will be exported. And you can verify this by opening up your folder, and everything is timestamped. You can see that this exported at 8.11 a.m., and this was 8.20. And there you have it. You've successfully finished chapters, consolidated your chapters into one whole chapter file, renamed them, and exported them appropriately to the publisher's specifications. Hey, thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And don't forget, I want you to pick up my free narration EQ guide. It'll help guide you into the right path using EQ on your voice for the books that you narrate. Just go to thehomeaudioproject.com slash EQ and download it today. That's it for today's video. I hope to see you tomorrow as we dive deeper into GarageBand narration.